Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theory. Suppose A and B are non-zero real numbers. Then, the reciprocal of AB is equal to the reciprocal of A times the reciprocal of B. Now in this series, we are using a list of 10 axioms for the real number system. And I'll leave that list of axioms in the description below. Now in this video, we are going to be using the following axioms. Axioms 1 and 2 are just the commutative and associative laws. Axiom 6 tells us that there exists a real number, which we call 1, that is distinct from 0 and has the property that 1 times x is equal to x for all real numbers x. And Axiom 7 tells us, for all non-zero real numbers x, there exists a real number, which we call the reciprocal of x, that has the property that x times the reciprocal of x is equal to 1. Now we're also going to be using some properties that we have proven so far. One of those properties is as follows. Suppose a and b are real numbers. If a, b is equal to 0, then a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0. We've also proven the cancellation law of multiplication, which says the following. Suppose a, b, and c are real numbers with a not equal to 0. If a, b is equal to a, c, then b is equal to c. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. First of all, let's ask ourselves if this statement makes sense. Since a is non-zero, then by axiom 7, we can make sense out of the reciprocal of a. Since b is non-zero, we can make sense out of the reciprocal of b. But can we make sense out of the reciprocal of a, b? Well, by star, we know if a, b is equal to zero, then a is equal to zero, or b is equal to zero. And the contrapositive tells us if a is not equal to zero and b is not equal to zero, then a, b is not equal to zero. So, since a and b are not equal to zero, we apply the contrapositive of star, and we have a, b is not equal to zero. So, since a, b is not equal to zero, we can make sense out of the reciprocal of a, b. So, yeah. This statement makes sense, so now let's try to prove it. Now to start out the proof, let's first note by star. Since a and b are not equal to zero, that tells us a, b is not equal to zero. And now, to show that these two guys are equal, the idea is... We can show that these two guys are equal, and then applying the cancellation law of multiplication, since a, b is not equal to zero, we can cancel out the a, b's, and we're left with these two guys are equal, which is exactly what we want. Okay, so let's first show that these two guys are equal. And to show that these two guys are equal, we're going to be applying axioms 1, 2, 6, and 7. First, by axiom 2, we can move these parentheses around a b times the reciprocal of a. Applying axiom 2 again, we can move the inner parentheses around b times the reciprocal of a. Applying axiom 1, we can swap b and the reciprocal of a. And then applying axiom 2, we can move the inner parentheses around a times the reciprocal of a. And then, applying axiom 2 again, we can move the outer parentheses around b times the reciprocal of b. And then, by axiom 7, a times the reciprocal of a is equal to 1, and b times the reciprocal of b is equal to 1. So we have 1 times 1, but by axiom 6, 1 times 1 is equal to 1. And then, by axiom 7 again, 1 is equal to AB times the reciprocal of AB. So now, through this chain of equalities, we have shown that these two guys are equal.
And now we're in a position to apply the cancellation law of multiplication. By the cancellation law of multiplication, since AB is not equal to zero, we can cancel out AB on both sides. And we're left with the reciprocal of A times the reciprocal of B equals the reciprocal of AB. And so these two guys are equal. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.